It's a book haul. What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Anyways, so we're here today to show you my book haul that I got this week. Um, these books are actually from publishers and from myself. I purchased them myself from either Chapters Indigo or Harlequin website. And normally I do do hauls, um, but not on YouTube, obviously. I do it on my Instagram stories, but I thought it'd be like a fun little video to post on my YouTube channel, as well as the fact that like I'm kind of running low on content but we're gonna get past that for now let's get started so the first book that I have to show you today is discretion by Karina Hal Hale Hall. I really don't know how to say her name this will be my first Karina book and I've seen her books all over Instagram and as well as Amazon where most of her ebooks are listed but this is my first time reading a print book from her it's also from Thomas Allen and Sons I got gifted it from um, one of my contacts Shout out to Amber. and uh, she read this book already and she told me that this book was really good it has a lot of family drama and it's about Sadie who returns back into her small hometown and then she kind of like meets a hot billionaire air which is not a bad story to start with but my friend also told me that there's a lot of family rivalry and there's um it's kind of like that forbidden friendship and relationship so the package that we have to unbox today is actually from chapters indigo i purchased this myself um you can already tell that i kind of already opened it because i was too excited so this is totally a natural reaction like oh my god what did i buy right um so first we have actually three books and you can already see and we get we always get these like papers here that we don't need in our lives so the first book that I have to show you that I purchased myself is the sun is also a star and it's the movie cover edition I never read this book nor did I watch the movie but I know from a lot of my friends that they love this book um, I don't know what this book is about except for from the trailer where I think that our main character the female is going to be deported with her family and she bumps into this guy they have this whirlwind romance for one whole day and i'm excited to see what the hype is about plus this book was super cheap it was only eight dollars on chapters indigo and i was like i gotta have so the second book that i have to show you guys is sophie kinsella's i owe you one now i already have the hardcover edition of this book sent to me from the publisher of Penguin Random House Canada, but I love Sophie Kinsella. She is one of my favorite contemporary authors out there and she writes the best romantic comedies. This is her latest standalone novel that I believe came out last year or this year. I'm not too sure, but I love, love, love how Penguin is designing their romantic comedies nowadays. So it's this like beautiful cartoon, which you can probably see like on multiple covers from Berkeley Romance. And Berkeley Romance is an imprint of Penguin Random House. So I can see why they would like copy the styles. Um, I read this book, loved it. I think I gave it a four out of five stars. It was one of those classic Sophia um, Sophie Kinsella books out there. It followed the same Sophie Kinsella formula. So there's like basically no surprises. Um, I can see why people might not like it because it's nothing original from her or like I don't think like it's as original as her other pieces but I think you'll have a good time if you just walk into it just expecting a romantic comedy and an easy day read to read on the weekend. So the next book that I bought is The Plus One by Sarah Archer and I was drawn immediately to the cover of this book when I saw it on Chapters website and when it was up for pre-orders now a funny thing about me is that I actually hate pre-ordering books because I just want the book now and um, sometimes I pre-order the books if they're my auto buy authors like Sophie Kinsella I always pre-order her books but if it's not an auto buy author I'm okay with waiting until it gets released just so I know that I can wait like in my head like it takes two days for it to deliver rather than me pre-ordering it and then I have to wait like eight months for it to come is it just me I don't know but anyways this book is about a girl who is very antisocial. she doesn't really have any like love relationships or a relationship life at all so she builds herself a perfect boyfriend a robot boyfriend and then through her robot boyfriend who is perfect she kind of learns more about herself and she learns to um, be a more spontaneous person 
person and have a character development growth on that. So I'm excited to read the book and the cover is just gorgeous if you can tell. It's this mint green and it has the signature cartoon print that we see a lot these days for a lot of our romantic comedies and novels. So the next package that we have here is actually from Harper Collins Canada and I have a little idea of like what I am expected but we're gonna take our pair of scissors and we're just gonna sip sip sip. So you can already see here that my contact is really sweet and she gave me a heart. Hey. Like, I don't think she watches my videos which is totally fine because it takes a lot to watch my videos. A lot of the times. Um, so the book that I got is Husband Material and it's an advanced reader's copy. This book comes out on September 24th, 2019 and it's our another romantic comedy kind of style novel. Um, so this book is about Charlotte who is a widow and she tries to get over the death of her husband and I think there's a lot but I think there's like some betrayal happening in that relationship um, and that's only like something that she figured out after he passed away which always you know kind of sucks. So she's trying to get over it and she's trying to build her career and she's trying to like work on other aspects of her life. So five years later um, she does not expect to see her husband's ashes on her front doorstep and then and then from then on she is thrown back into her old life where she has to talk to her mother-in-law or her ex-mother-in-law and then also her husband's best friend who I believe might be the main male um, lead in our story and um, I feel like that this book will be a hint of romantic comedy as well as dealing with grief and more serious issues so definitely check this book out if you're interested. So the next package that we have is from Brain Coast Books and I reopened this as well because I was excited and I wanted to re remember what I requested from them and what I was gifted. So we got two books today and the first book that I got is from um, Bridget Kemmerer and it's Call It What You Want and if I remember correctly this book this author wrote the so she did write the curse so dark and lonely and that was like this like fantasy novel that i think blew up either this year or last year and it was the book about a modern day storytelling of beauty and the beast um this book is a contemporary novel from what i can tell and it's a YA contemporary novel coming out on june 25th so the book is already out i don't know why i received a dark of it but okay um anyway so this one is about a our main hero er, male character whose father is caught embezzling funds which is like not a good image to have on one's family especially when he's the star of the lacrosse team and he's kind of like set on this path of like expectations that he's going to do well in his future and he's going to be successful. He gets partnered up with our main female character who is a typical overachiever but then she is hiding a secret of her own and her sister actually comes back home from college pregnant. So now she needs to hide that secret from her parents and also keep the secret for her sister. So I'm excited to see what kind of family issues and drama we can get ourselves into through this book. I find that it will probably be very emotional. So the next book that we have is The QB Bad Boy and Me by Tay Marley and this book this book does not look like it's an arc so I might be out already. This is fine for me. But this book now Here's the thing, this book is actually published by Wattpad Books. If you didn't know this already, Wattpad is beginning to publish books on itself. So they're, I guess they're picking up like the most um, attractive and most popular books that are read on Wattpad and then they're putting them into print. So this book is about the quarterback who is a bad boy, I think. And then um, he has this uh, love, like lovers to enemies relationship with the dancer on in the school. And then they get into this fight and then she wants to pursue her dreams of dancing and meanwhile he wants to pursue his dreams of playing football and I guess it's just a cute romantic story of them together. Uh, to be honest when I heard about this book I was just like a little bit hesitant because it is a Wattpad novel but then again I don't want to be biased and I want to judge things all by myself so we're gonna see how good or how bad this book is. 
So the next package that we have today is also from Trappers Indigo. I bought this myself. Um, I bought these books during when they had the free shipping sale going on. It wasn't really a sale, but it was just free shipping and I love free shipping. So I bought this book after Book Depository lost my book and gave me a refund. And I was like, yeah, sure, you guys are giving me a refund because I'm mad. I waited like a month for you guys to give me my book and you guys didn't do it. So the book is called Thunderhead and it's by Neil Schusterman. And I read Scythe um, about like a month ago and I would have read the second book sooner if Book Depository didn't lose my book. So yeah, thank you so much for that. JK, I'm still supportive of Book Depository. Um, so if you guys are not familiar with this series, this book follows a dystopian world or a world in near or future basically a dystopian world where um, humans overcome death. And then um, because humans overcome death and diseases and cancers and like things like that, and nobody's starting wars, the, we're overpopulating. So we uh, created this new role where um, these people can kill you and without harm. And it's just random selection. They're just killing off people just so that they can control the population. So our two main characters are hired or trained as the basically a Grim Reaper kind of sort of deal. And they are conflicted with their own issues because they don't want to kill people. That's not what they're born to do. They don't want to do it. But because they're put in this role in this path, they would die if they don't continue this role. So yeah, I'm excited to read what happens next. And um, I know that my friend Joey really likes the series and he really wants me to read it. So I'll try to read it. It's really thick also, but also it doesn't take that long to read because it's just so good. I swear we're moving faster, but here's another package. This package is from Harlequin and I'm a part of the Harlequin publicity team on Instagram. So I sign up for a lot of the books that I am interested in. And this was a book that I am interested in. This is my PR paper that I'll, I will read later on. Uh, so the book that I got is Tony Blake's The One Who Stays and this is just a cute small town romantic story and I'm sure there's a lot of drama as well. So this is a small town romance and it's about our main character named Meg and Meg is in a committed relationship with this character named Zach. Um, the only problem is, is that Zach is kind of being wishy-washy and he's not really always fully committed to her and she's just like okay what's going on because I need to move on with my life with you hopefully in the future like I want to get married I want to have children like what's going on so what she doesn't count on is a new man coming into the town and his name is Seth and then uh, sparks fly and then we're gonna see where it goes from there this looks like it's going to be a very emotional romance as you can tell from the cover and how they're like on a lake well not on a lake but like they're near the lake and they're like embracing each other Okay, so our second last package is from Simon Schuster Canada and as you can tell I also opened it because I was super excited. Every time I get a book from Simon Schuster, I'm just like really excited because they always have like the really like elite books and it's just like mm. okay anyways so the book that I'm excited to show you is Christina Lawrence twice in a blue moon and Christina Lawrence actually pretty like active like both of them are pretty active on Twitter So they were able to tell me that this book was actually not a romantic comedy And the reason why she told or they told me that it wasn't a romantic comedy was because chapters actually listed it as a romantic comedy And you can actually get 30% off off this book for a limited period of time and um they were like it's not actually a romantic comedy it's actually gonna be pretty emotional and I'm like oh no because like last time when I read her other books and it got emotional I kept crying and I couldn't like stop crying so I don't know too much about this book and I prefer not to know too many things about a Christina Lauren book just so I don't set up myself up for some expectations this book does come out October 22nd 2019 and it is up for pre-order as well the book isn't that thick so I think I can get through this in probably like a day without any hesitation which I'm pretty excited about I know that my friend Lacey and also my friend Jessica from Peace Love Books XO uh, is really super fans of this book and they're really excited so maybe we can buddy read along but also I can't do committed relationships so we don't know Okay, so the last package that we have today to show you from this week is a Harlequin order that I put in in the middle of the night because Harlequin likes to do this thing where they send me coupons at like 12 a.m. And if you guys don't know me, I am a complete night owl and I don't sleep until 1.30. So every time 12 a.m. hits and I get an email that says like, get $10 off of your purchase of $20 or more, I'm just like, 
F yeah. F yeah, I'll do it. Don't worry. I got you. I got this. Here, take my credit card information. But anyway, so I bought two books and they were so cheap in the end. So it was, I think it was take $10 off a $30 order. So these two books ended up being like $10 each when their list price is $20 each. So always check Harlequin's website if you guys want a deal. So I bought Heels of Steel and this book looks like it is an adult contemporary book and it has romance inside. I know that for sure but the main focus of this book is our strong independent women who are starting their own business and who are growing their own business and that's kind of like the story settings that I really like to read nowadays simply because um I guess I am in business like my role is in finance and I just want to always like advance my career and it's always like invigorating it's always inspiring to read about characters who have ambition or who want to grow because like i find myself absorbed into the story and then i want to grow my career and i want to advance and i want to be like the ceo of like this big ass company in new york but you know we're not going to get there so this is an enemies to lover romance and she's also a single parent and she's not going to let anything like prejudice or sexism or harassment stop her from achieving her end goal which is to be at the very top and her enemy is actually a uh her enemy is actually her biggest competitor and we're gonna see how the story unravels also i really like this cover if you guys can tell it's a stiletto shoe but then the heel part is a giant like a skyscraper building and it's just so cute like i love this cover it's a thick book but you know what i think i can get through the last book that i got is the cactus and this book has been blowing up on instagram it has been blowing up on at walmart because it's like cheap at Walmart. It's the Reese's Book Club as well. So this book is compared to Eleanor and Philia is completely fine. I started Eleanor, but I never finished it and I never could get past 100 pages simply because Eleanor has like this personality that is really hard to get into if you're not in the right mood. And since I am a mood reader, it gets pretty hard. I think it'll be like a really interesting read, especially if I get into our characters and I can see the character growth because I'm always about that character growth for our characters and always about seeing them like being a better version of themselves so i can't wait to read this this is also i think like somewhat it's like a romance inside but it's mostly focusing on their lives as well so i don't know if i should call this a romance but check it out if you haven't already but anyways, thank you to all the publishers who sent these books to me. I promise you that I will try to get to them as soon as possible. And also I would like to take the special time to thank me, myself and I for spending all the money that I have in my wallet and my bank account. And um, I need to stop doing this, but then also like, I just always constantly buy books. Like right now I'm debating between putting another order in at Chapters Indigo or just like spending all my money on K-pop albums. Um, I mean like NCT Dream is coming back at the end of July and I kind of want both versions of their albums but then also like Chapters Indigo has this like sale going on where you get 30% off on some pre-orders and I'm just like ooh that's spicy information. I'm gonna dive into that yeah so we'll we'll see we'll see if i make another haul video you know that i put my order in so subscribe down below if you're interested in more content from me